out. It is scheduled for 12 rounds, and it will be for the British Super Featherweight Championship. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge, Martin Flory. Our three judges assigned, all from England, Terry O'Connor, Ian John Lewis, and Steve Gray. When the bell rings, our referee in charge, third man at the ring, will be Marcus McDonnell of England. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. Live from the Morningside Arena here in Leicester, England, this is our main event of the evening. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing green with white and weighed in at nine stone, three pounds. Coming to us from Campus Lang, Scotland, he brings a professional record consisting of 17 wins, four defeats, one draw, with four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jordan, Jordy McCurry. And his opponent across the ring in this main event. He is the defending champion fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing red with white and weighed in the same as his opponent. Nine stone, three pounds. Hilling from Ipstock, Leicestershire, England. He is undefeated with 14 wins. 10 of his 14 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending British super featherweight champion, Sam the Bullet Bullet. I spoke your bank address here, and what I expect, Adler Professor, all times, obey my instructions, watch your resin, keep Any questions? Let's go to work. Well, what are your thoughts on this one, Barry? Sam Bowen, big favourite to win, but is he as good as people are saying? Oh, I think time will tell. I think he's, he's better than everyone he's faced. I don't mean because he's undefeated. I think there's been a clear um, golfing class against people he's had to come up against. That power of his. But he, he is, he's not the hardest target to find, and, and I think a, a good boxer will exploit that to a point, but can they take the power? And McCory, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a neat mover, he's a good boxer, but I think as, as Richie Wood always say, you know, this is like it, it, the biggest moment of his career, this is, is sort of his world title fight. And that, a, might, that might inspire him to great things for, for him. He's a harsh critic of his own work, Sam Bowen. And I think he's aware that he doesn't always look the, the prettiest of fighters, but he's effective, very effective. Yeah, and that's the key. And what, and what I think what he does as well, even, when he, even if he doesn't knock you out or knock you down, he hits you and shocks you, so he hits you anyway and you feel it. And then the panic sets in and you rush your work, you tense up, and everything, and, and, and all the flow and rhythm you need in your work is gone. And then he goes to work. Corey told off for uh, holding and bowing for one around the back of the head. That's probably shots there from Corey. A good one back there from McCory, if not a little low. It's good he's winning the fight back. Bowen's going to work at the body. He's trying to target McCory down below. Has McCory got the power to keep Bowen off? He's trying to do the right thing, McCory. He's trying to stay nice and low. Fair enough there from the ref. He's sticking in that nice little sharp left hook. Solid jab there though from Bowen. A bit Celtic from McCory. And uh, one or two observations this week to make about the managerial situation at Leicester City. As he would. Yes, of course. And obviously a good thing or a bad thing, but if you admire the, you admire the, the bravery of McCauley, because he's willing to, to hold his feet and unload. Well, certainly early McCauley. in his career, he used to really try and walk straight through people. He's tried to add a little bit more subtlety to his work. 
with his trainer Craig Dixon. He's really trying to carry the fight to Bowen in this opening round. He's had a good go, he really has. Settled into a rhythm. Good there from McCauley. But he's trying to chop down with that right hand. He's bowing, but he just, he just leans back a little when he throws it so he can't get the, the right the right judgment of distance. Some solid body shot from Bowen. But around the back of the head, and he's saying that's the second time I've told you about that. At LV, our car insurance comes from the heart. That's why we've made our multi-car policy our cheapest way to get cover for your household when you switch to LV. So, just imagine if you insure two, three or more cars with us, how much you could save. For an exclusive multi-car discount from a which recommended provider for car insurance, go direct to lv.com. Well, it was a tough opening round for Sam Bowen. A little bit of news for fans of Sam Maxwell. He's been taken to hospital, I can tell you. To be checked over. Drank some water afterwards, was hyperventilating in his dressing room. It was a, a savage fight, which he turned around in the last round with a knockout victory to win the WBO European title. But it was a tough, tough fight, and hopefully Sam will come through OK. He did walk to the ambulance, I'm told, so that's in itself a good sign. That's yeah, good there from Bowie. Three nice straight shots. Did you give that uh, round, that opening round to McCorry? I did only just. I don't know. Bowen only enough shots as well to maybe have an argument. But I think that last little flurry there in a close shot was just maybe enough for McCrory to just to nick it. Better there though from Bowen. as well. Some bird is a deceptively hard puncher. Oh, good shot again from McCorry. Left hand. He's not finding Bowen difficult to find. No, I mean, we know that anyway. That's the thing with Bowen. Good left hand again there from McCauley. And returned from Bowen. Another one round the back of the head. He's going to get a point deducted here if he's not careful. <laughs> Corner were telling him and in no uncertain terms that that was a punch around the back of the head and that the referee should have done something about it. Hence the ticking off for the corner. Oh, nice fast jab there from, from Bowen. talk around Leicester of course about the possibility of a fight somewhere down the line between Sam Bowen and Leon Woodstock who was in action tonight and a good fight with made a, a winning return after his defeat against Archie Sharp a good fight we got to get through this one first indeed and uh, having all the trouble he needs in the early stages against Marcori who is very, very up for it, as we can see. Clipped by a right hand as he came in that time. Yeah, there's two punch combination here from, from Bowen. Oh, lovely left hook there. McCoy. He stays nice and low, McCoy, but he throws the punches over the top. 
digging in some good body shots. Burn and then landing a right hook to the head. Suggesting that punches were low, I think, from McCorey. And there's been a couple low, to be honest, and the referee hasn't seen or maybe did see it, didn't really pay attention. Well, interesting round. Ladbrook sponsors boxing on BT Sport. We all need to know how travel might be affected by the UK leaving the EU. Find guidance and up-to-date information at gov.uk slash EU exit. Ladbrook sponsors boxing on BT Sport. Warm into it, yeah? Yeah, you're sorry. Some burn here, a little bit of bruising underneath the right eye, and a warning from the referee, Marcus McDonnell, that if he keeps landing punches around the back of the head, he will take points away. He will do a little combination there from Corey. Again, some good quality work. For me, I think the quality in his work was a little bit better than Corey's. Tie round, did you give that Bowen? Yes, I did, yeah. Level card, level fight so far on Barry's card. 12 rounder, of course, for the British Super Featherweight title. <laughs> lovely there from McCoy, lovely right hand. Yeah, just stopped Bowen in his tracks that time. Showing good defensive skills, though, staying away from the follow-up attack. He fancies this, doesn't he? He really does. Well, they've done their homework. And he certainly wasn't over in, wasn't intimidated in any sense when they uh, met in the pre-fight press conference earlier this week. McCory really fancying the job. I just wondered whether there was the possibility that Bowen was underestimating. I'm not too sure. He won't be underestimating him now. I don't think so. I just think uh, Bowen does what he does. I don't think he does much um, variety in his work, but what he does is effective for the most part. Good shot there. Nice left hook from Bowen. Nice left hook back there from McCory. McCory feeling the weight of those left hands. Oh, good shot, leading off with the right that time. That was a good body shot. It was doubled low, McCory, but Bowen still managed to find the body with that left hook. That's good there from Bowen, nice fast hands. Keeps ducking very low, McCorry. And there is the danger that he gets hit around the back of the head by Bone, and Bone's already had the warning. Good there, nice right hand from Bowen. designed. Picture every piece of furniture handcrafted to your own exacting specifications and guaranteed for 10 years. Every space entirely created around you. Bespoke British furniture. Neville Johnson. Designed. Crafted. Guaranteed. Just keep doing your thing, you're getting some shots. I don't mean to take it. Do you do? But see when the rest of the show, bring it in. Focus 
here because you've got to try and put me on that. Right, you've got to try and keep your budget. We switched on all the time. Three rounds gone, Barry. Did you give this one to the I did, yeah, but only, only, only just to be honest. I don't think he was dominant. It, it, I thought the, I thought the start of the round, I thought I that thought he was doing a corner. I just think Bo Nitsch just stole it off him there at the end of the round. I think he started off really brightly in the corner, and he's, and he's had to hit clean. And while uh, the viewers were away, Sam Byrne was told in no uncertain terms by Carl Greaves, keep your left hand up. Because he has been he has been punished on more than one occasion by the right hand of the Scotsman. I think he got a double jab his way in here, boy. Now two real solid left hands. Just bend the knees a little bit and push forward. If McCrory stays nice and low, so you've got to go low with him. Good for McCrory, a little change of direction. Just when Bowen started to hunt him down, just a little change of direction. Bowen's got to start again. So he's not ducking below the belt. That's when you've got to move around, McCauley. And when he, when he goes low like that and you punch, throw two punches, then take a step around because that's when he looks to fire back from that low crouch. Credits, I really do. He took it well, but Bowen knew though. And then a little exchange of words yeah. just there. <laughs> Did a good round for Bowen this one. A little bit quiet here, McCauley. Oh, a little bit of afters, but another round for Bowen. Listen to it, all right? That was good. Broke him up to start with, yeah, behind the jab, yeah? Same again. And then he started taking him apart. He's, he's, he's draining now, but he's getting to him. Listen to me. Drop your knees a bit and bring them up, of course, yeah. when he's going low like that, yeah? All right? It's hard getting leaving. Shot. Yeah, they definitely that's, think that Bowen is starting to get on top. He done some good shots, especially that little barrage of punches. Right? And that's a beautiful jab there. That was early in the round there from Bowen. That's good work. He was just a busier there and a bit more accurate as well. I think McCrory was just a little bit right at the end of the round there. But he's, I think he's, he's showing that he can take the punches and fire back. And I think that's a positive sign from McCrory. He's not getting hurt yet. Yeah, the word there is yet, you suspect. Well, maybe, you know. Who knows? We're into the fifth round on Barry's card, Sam Bowen ahead. But Jordan McCory has had his moments. Oh, I the jab there from Bowen. Oh, beaten to the punch very much there. Well, that, that, that last round was the only round that you could clearly say that was Bowen's round, I think, for me. I keep the second and the third to him. I don't think anyone were con real conclusive, but that one was. Carl Greaves saying there were signs that he was starting to bust him up. I'm not overstating it. Well, I, 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 he slowed him down, whether that was by choice by McCrory or that's the Bowen's pressure, but he slowed him down just a little bit in that round. 
we'll see how, what he comes back with here now in the fifth. But in the, in the first, second and third round, what, Bowen, what McCrory was doing, he was having to fire when Bowen was punching. And having a fair bit of success with that. Comes in the same part of the world as Scott Harrison, does Jordy? Good job there, uh, one from Bowen. He's come back well here, McCrory, so far. <laughs> he can fully connect with that right hand there. Sam Bowen. Not McCrory, good them. Too long here, McCrory. He does have a tendency to cut McCrory, but no problem so far. Good right hand from Bowen. Nice little sharp counter to get back there from McCrory. And there's just a smear of blood from the nostril now of Jordan McCrory. And again, ducking too low. Can't duck below waist height. Sponsors boxing on BT Sport. Say my name so my powers may flow through you. Shazam! That's crazy, right? And you leave tall buildings in a single bound. I'm sorry, people, hide! Shazam! Ladbrook sponsors boxing on BT Sport. There from Bowen. She's behind the double jab though. We were talking about double jab earlier in the fight. I think he works well. He should be working behind that to get in the range. He fires back to McCrory. He takes a really good shot. He's went the fire back. But I just think for me, Bowen was far busier again in that round. So into the sixth round. Bowen ahead on Barry's card. There from McCrory. And he's ahead, but he's not dominant. And then he runs, set the fourth is his best, I feel. And that was the one where his trainer was saying he was starting to bust him up. <laughs> Didn't quite connect there, Bowen. Did a good start of the round so far here from McCrory. The protest that it was around the back of the head. Case of I'm the referee, I think, from Marcus. Stop moaning. Stop bleating and get on with it. Oh, nice there from McCauley. Big body shots from Bowen, though. A couple of solid left hands. Oh. And he's brought the gloves down. And he's feeling the pain still of that body shot. And this is a big attack from Bowen. And McCrory trying to buy precious seconds. And still he's trying to protect his body. Suggesting that was low. Good point. 
Good deduction for ducking low. He's been warned on the point is taken. You heard that, you're going to get thrown out if you carry on like this. Ironically, Barry, it came, that all came to time when Bayern was right on top. More big body shots from Bayern. Oh, look at McCauley fighting back. Lovely left hook from McCauley. What a great exchange. And almost for the first time, Bayern moment, momentarily there, had to give ground. It's, it's a big run from McCauley, and for, for Bowen really, but look at this from McCauley. Bowen's not used to people fighting back when he hits him. Oh, what a shot. Good round, this. Great round. And all up to the point was deducted. Shots as McCauley, he's been hit with those seven uppercuts. That's a lovely one again there from Bowen. And again, and again. McCauley still fighting back. Fantastic, oh well he takes a shot here McCauley, really, isn't it? They won't even look it, complaining to the referee again. But every time he gets hit he fires back and that's when he had that, after this little onslaught, onslaught here, he fires back all of a sudden. And I think the shock for Bowie, because he's not used to when he hits people, he hurts him, he's not used to them firing back. And what a round that was. Tremendous round, but a big scoring round for Sam Bowen, the champion. Second time, round seven. Point deduction for McCory, so that will go as a two-point round for Bowen. Into the second half of the fight. And, and it's, it's funny with McCory, because he's in the fight, but he's losing the rounds. For me. Yeah, it's all it's all subjective, isn't it? But you just get the, get the feeling that the you know, the greater authority of punch, the power is with Bowen. It's been one maybe. round. It's been one round. Maybe you could, uh, I've not cut the round because I could have given the other way. They were tight. This is what maybe you know, in favour of again the strength of, of Bowen. You know, Bowen's ahead. McCord is in every round. We're making an argument all the time. When he gets hit, he fires back. Making really hard for, for Bowie to hit him clean. A nice jab there though, from Bowie. Yeah, having to eat leather. And his nose is oozing blood again, McCory. Mouth starting to get busted up as well. Too long and he's a little faint and then, and then fired in with a little combination. Yeah, well, there's the faint. Sam Burns never had to go past seven rounds in his professional career. Here we are in the seventh. Good right hand left hook there from Bowen. 
good work. And McCorey had to hold on. But he's still trying to fire her back, even when he's getting knocked backwards. Walked into another tremendous right hand. Slowed um, McCrory down a little bit, I think. Big body shots from both men, and the left hand from McCrory was low. And he's going to get another point taken. I got the impression that Marcus McDonald was getting pretty fed up with him, and there's a real possibility that he's going to throw him out here. If you get thrown out, if you look at the pace tonight, you understand that? Calm down. You are being like a lunatic. Calm yourself down. Well, he heard that pretty clearly. Calm down, you're behaving like a lunatic. It is a fight. It is a fight. Well, there is that. Oh, oh good right hand again from Bowen. <laughs> Numerous times in that round. And that's another Bowen round. He's getting well on top. And he has to make up the call. Yeah, he's a long way back. And one person he doesn't want to be having an argument with is the referee. If oh. he does any more of that, he'll be in trouble. But that's a great start to the round from him. Terrific right hand. You throw some more of those, he won't be in trouble. from McCorry as much as to say people say you're a heavy-handed puncher but you can't hurt me. I know, could he caught him in the left foot, didn't he, Bowen first? Oh, that's good from Bowen. And then McCorry fires back straight away. And he's done it all night. So when Bowen got a really sad stabbing, stepping beyond our left hand. The referee there expecting a point. It was low. Good there from McCorry. of the fatigue that's setting in. 12-rounder, and we're only in the eighth. Yeah, we're going to have to tie though, isn't it? Would you like to see Bowen just go through the gears a wee bit more now? I, I think he's also got to be careful because McCoy does fire back when you hit him, so I think if he, he gets too adventurous, he gets caught himself. But he's been, he's been shocked a little bit as well, I think, like, like this, like, Tag a little bit off McCrory, so gotta be careful. But just double jab your way in, a bit more distance on that right hand. St 
still McCorry Brave who's trying to fire back. But not enough once again for the Scotsman. It's another round for Bowen, and he's a mile in front on the cards. He is, and if he stays like this, the cards are not going to reflect him. Listen to him, listen to him. He's chucking that right hand, mate. Be careful, he'll come out. He'll come out, he'll chuck that right hand a couple of times. Yeah, he'll yeah, be around. He won't have every round, mate. Listen, what? Every round. Listen to me. Keep beating him up. It's all about that for the right hand there for the glory. Fantastic shot. And there's been enough of them from him as well. As I say, the scorecards, it, it goes the distance and it stays this way. I'm not going to reflect how, how close he's made this, how, how hard he's made Bowen work for this week. Well, it's had to show that he's got a good chin on occasion. He's also had to show a winner that's to keep going. Power shots with a guy seemingly taking them to have his own effect on it. Ninth round of this British super featherweight title fight. Sam Bowen in the red shorts is a mile in front. Question now of whether well, oh, he almost went down there and McCorry takes one low. He almost sunk to his knees. And I think he's just about all in here now, the Scotsman. It's those uppercuts, I think they've really taken it out of him. as he got left. The Bowen senses that the end might be near. Here he goes again, and it's all over. Referee said enough is enough, and I think that's probably a good decision. McCurry didn't like it much, but the celebrations of Sam Bowen, and look at his face. The face, that is, of Geordie McCurry, because Sam Bowen has done a number on him tonight, and he's still the champion. First thing... Bowen hasn't been beyond seven rounds. How fit did he look there? And he, and he, and he, all, and he throws power shots all the time. And, it, and McCrory just kind of kept taking them and firing him back. But Bowen still kept it, stuck to his plan, stuck, you know, stuck to his task, kept coming forward, didn't didn't wilt on the outlay, kept, he kept the pressure up. The tempo was good, his fitness was really good for him. And I thought as well for, for a guy who's heavy handed to be able to do that for a long distance. And this guy here, the scorecards don't reflect his effort. He was tremendous in, in little patches. He was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, he gave it absolutely everything. Sam Byrne still with that Lonsdale belt. Successful defence for him. And here's how the end came. It's those uppercuts, John. I think they, they had the effect. Just before that, he, he, he took a really hard uppercut. And those uppercuts as well, when you don't see them, they just, they really just, you feel so sorry for yourself. He's proved himself emphatically top of the domestic tree once again. But his fans are going to be starting to think, is he, is he going to be able to move up to the level higher? Well, I think he was made to, he was made to work for Douglas McCrory, but I think you've got to give credit to Jordan McCrory. I think he was better than what we all expected. I got a bit tougher, certainly tougher than what we all expected. But I think, you know, listen, Paul was a work in progress, but I, I think he, he took a lot of good boxes tonight, his fitness and, and the, the tempo that he fought, the, the pace that he fought, that you know, was very intense. It was a good fight to watch. Yep, strong fighter, tough man, and still the champion. Here's Thomas Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time, 33 seconds of round number nine. Our referee in charge, Marcus McDonnell, Stops the contest as the red corner in no condition to continue. Therefore, your winner and still British super featherweight champion, Sam the Bullet Bowen. So it's Leicestershire's celebration. Sam Bowen still the champion and doing a pretty good job.